Oh, it's bad. It looks bad. I might sound a little paranoid, but I don't care. I'd rather be safe than sorry. The back of my head is not my business. Joke is on me once again. You know what I'm saying? Because why? Why? Why would you do that? <gasps> I'm looking like a Hagrid. You're a wizard, Harry Potter. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is everything. Good morning, everyone. It's Chandler Alexis, and a welcome back to another weekly vlog. I haven't actually picked up my camera in two weeks, believe it or not. I've filmed sit down videos, which y'all have seen, where I've done like the try on hauls. I also filmed like the next episode to my Elevation Era series, and I'm gonna insert a little clip right here, and you can tell me what you think is wrong with this video yeah so if you didn't pick up what was wrong with it i literally had a pink eye not pink eye i didn't have pink eye but my eye was red because of my allergies in the like current time of filming it i was like oh it's not that bad you won't be able to notice it if i sit far away from the camera and film and then i started editing it and i was like oh it's bad it looks bad so <laughs> I'm gonna have to refilm that again. Third time's the charm. Um, but today is Monday. It's also July 1st. This year is going by so fast. It's the seventh month of the year. It's also the first, which I really love that I'm getting back into vlogging on a Monday and on the first of the month, it's like a fresh start. I really want to do like get a lot of work done this month and just really put my all into my my work so that's the plan today we are getting a few things done i have to go to the library to drop off some books that are overdue yeah adam's in the in, in our room right there but he has two library books out on my library card my account because he has his own account but it's on my account two books that he has had for the last like three months that he hasn't read or returned so I'm going to do the latter and return them because it's on my account like it makes my account look bad meanwhile I like always return my books so I'm gonna go do that today I also have some like content I need to get done like pictures and stuff and then what else I need to set up my planner today is the first of the month so I need to set up my planner I'm also starting my new skincare routine because I am getting a procedure done procedure sounds so like serious i'm getting like a skin yeah it is a procedure like a skin procedure done to basically remove the top layer of my skin it's kind of like a chemical pill actually i think it is a chemical pill <laughs> um but in order to do that you have to like use certain products first before you get into that so i'm starting that this week so that's what i'm about to do right now and then we'll basically get our day started also Side note, Adam went back to training today. He's back in football. So over the next, well, from now on, obviously next few weeks and everything of these vlogs, you won't be seeing him as much because he'll be at training. He's home now, but we're back to like our usual scheduled program, okay? But anyways, let's get into this. I hope you guys enjoy this weekly vlog and I am also going to be doing a giveaway yeah a giveaway so stay tuned it's an amazon gift card giveaway i'm going to tell you how to enter that giveaway at the end of this vlog so if you want to enter in the amazon giveaway watch this entire vlog okay i'm not even going to tell you when i'm going to mention the giveaway because i want you to watch the vlog enjoy the vlog sit back relax but you'll get to a point where i'll mention it so stay tuned but let's go ahead and get started with this it says brightening foam first so I've got my brightening foam. I feel like now is also the perfect time to be starting this new skincare because my face is starting to have cystic acne again. This side's okay, just got my scarring, but the cystic acne is coming in on my face. I think it's like harm, 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 hormonal. Um, so like when my period comes, it comes, but it's so irritating. So I'm like, hopefully this clears it up. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this smells nice. It actually smells so good. 
Okay, it says until it becomes a foam, but I don't know if that means like this or if it's actually supposed to like foam up. Hmm. This smells expensive. <laughs> I need to look up how much this stuff costs because I don't know how much it costs. If this shit actually works, I might be using this more often. I'm almost out of my face towels, so I need to order more of these. Hmm. My skin already looks really clean. Okay, hold on. Next up, let's not get carried away. So that was the brightening foam. And all the rub into my neck as well. Okay. He did say it has color to it. Ooh, yeah, it does. I definitely just build this bottle for my clothes oh my gosh okay out of everything this smells the best like, like let me get some more of that oh my gosh it smells like perfume for your face that is my skincare routine for today and it came with a cute little baggie so i can just put everything back in here with my instructions because <laughs> I'm gonna need this you also have to apply this night and day everything gets reapplied at night it's except for the sunscreen obviously these are the two books that he had one is the silent patient and then the other is falling I heard the silent patient is really really good it is. so then why haven't you read it <laughs> so I'm reading. look at my bookmark okay so you're actually gonna read it if you're actually going to read it, I'll let you keep this one. I'll go renew it. But yeah, the other one I'm returning. One. Yeah. Because yeah, there's people that are like in line for these books and you're just not reading them. All right, we're going to take this one back. All right, I'm at the library. Obviously, you have to whisper or like be quiet because it's quiet in here. I look bald with this headband on. <laughs> okay, um. I'm on Yahoo, like the Yahoo main page, and I seen Jude Bellingham's face on the page. And if you don't know football, like soccer, you're not gonna understand why this is just like, what the fuck? You shouldn't have done that. But I mean, maybe you will. If you know sports, then you know like there's a certain standard you're supposed to hold yourself to. Anyways. I'm reading this and it says Judy, Jude Bellingham faces disciplinary probe over conduct in England win. And I'm like, hmm, because I watched the game last night with Adam. So I'm like, hmm, what did he do? I click on it. <laughs> Jude Bellingham under UEFA investigation for apparent crotch gesture. Jude, 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 Jude. So then I scroll down and there's a video. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's like sportsmanship like but he responded to it and he put the yawning emoji with an x an inside joke gesture towards some close friends who were at the game nothing but respect for how the Slovakia team played tonight Ish, that's all i can say i get it was like a joke towards friends but it's not really something you would or should do at a national game okay back to work all right, we're back home and in my office because while I was out, I noticed two things. One, my camera is about to die. It was on 15%, so I need to change the battery. And then two, I also realized that my phone, like, data package was out. So my phone, since I have a UK number and an American one, my UK number is like a pay-as-you-go type of thing, but I do like a monthly contract, so I just pay every month, you know, for it. And then every time it ends i just buy another 
monthly package. Does that make sense? I hope you all know what I'm trying to say. So it ran out, I guess yesterday and I didn't realize. So when I went out, luckily I know my way around the city. When I went out, I got to the library and then I was trying to use my phone and it wasn't working. And I was like, oh my gosh, my data's out. So I needed to come home so I can get more data on my phone, like renew my package for the month. So on my way home, I was like, okay, maybe I should go home, do that and then go to like a little cafe and get some more work done. But then I decided mm, it's rainy today. I think I just want to vibe in my house. And this way I can watch some TV. I'm watching The Mole right now on Netflix. It's so good. Season one. So good. So I'm like, let me watch The Mole on my laptop while I do some like planning on my iPad. I'm also about to eat some chocolate cake that I made last night. It's so freaking good. Mm. if I could tell you what this tastes like if you're American and you've ever had the chocolate cake from Jack in the Box that's exactly what this cake tastes like 15 seconds that's all you need 15 seconds heat that cake up and then eat it that's what this tastes like and then of course I've got my milk don't mind the chocolate that I got on it from my cake but yeah I'm just gonna enjoy a little snacky snack while I get to planning. Oh my gosh, my iPad's on 10%. Okay. Adam is literally screaming his, oh, there goes a text, screaming his head off for me to come downstairs because it's time to watch Love Island. So let's go. I'm coming, man. What? What bowl of cake? I had dishes. Me, just now. It's time for Love Island, Casa Amor. Hey, you're gonna squeeze the dog. Well, he needs to move on my way. He's on my man. Watch out, man. This is my spot. Oh. Wait, man. This is my spot. Mm. <laughs> My spot. Move. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't see the TV either. Previously. Um, I... Oh, I, I, love it. I haven't done my planner yet. My iPad's just been taking forever to charge. So, once Love Island's done, we're doing planning for the night and then bed. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> you don't know what the plan is. That's What's your plan. plan? Are you doing planning before you go to bed? That's the plan. Right there, man. Yeah. Come on, G. You gotta give him that hot tub. <laughs> no, that sound effect was mad. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday, July 2nd. And uh, we are about to wash my face. I've already brushed my teeth, got ready for the day because I dropped Adam off at work. Um, and then... What else, what else did I do today? Had breakfast, did my prayer, read a book. I've done a lot, I've actually done a lot. My morning routine, I told y'all, once I have my planner set and ready, like my routine is so much better. I have um my makeup routine I'm about to film, so I need to wash my face and do my hair. But yeah, we're back at it with this. I actually do feel like yesterday, it did make a little bit of a difference. Like my skin, remember I was breaking out here, it's going down. Can y'all see that? And then over here, like I don't know, my complexion just seems a lot, seems a lot brighter. So, is it this? Is this the answer to my prayers? All right, now I need to do my hair, and then I think I'm gonna sit down and film my makeup routine. The only thing is I have to go pick up Adam from work in about, I think two hours he'll be done. I just don't wanna start filming and then have to leave during filming to go pick him up and then come back. Do you know what I mean? Cause I feel like it messes up the lighting on my camera when you like start and stop filming. 
So that's my dilemma. I've texted him to see like how it's going, if he's almost done, stuff like that. But he hasn't responded, so I'm guessing he's outside on the pitch. I'm looking like Hagrid. <laughs> I'm looking like Hagrid. You're a wizard, Harry Potter. You're a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry Potter. Harry? Harry? Alakazam. No, what is actually wrong with me? Oh. I can only part my hair as far as I can see it. So we're just going to have to wing it. I think we're getting somewhere. The only thing I will say is the back of my head is not my business. So don't even comment about it because <laughs> I already know it's not going to be. What's the word like? Symmetrical, you know what I mean? And we're back in business. Yes, that's what I needed. Look at that. OK, cool. I need to order um, some more face towels that I use to dry my face after I'm done with my skincare routine and then I also need to order a new cover for my laptop like a new little camera cover because mine fell off and I feel like the little FBI agent in my laptop is like finally yes I don't know I just feel a lot more safe and protected when my camera is covered well, Adam said he has gym half one which is it's half one now and he was only in the gym for like 20 minutes and then he's done so yeah I'm assuming he's gonna be done soon okay let's go on here I need my face towels do y'all use like the clean skin club ones I know I've heard those ones are really good they are $17.95 on Amazon However, the brand that I, wait, let me see how many is in here. $17.95 for 50. Yeah, $17.95 for 50. So that's 25 days, like a little bit less than a month that would last me because I wash my face in the morning and at night and I use the towels morning and night. Um, the ones that I order, let me see, what are they called? It's called Gothic Bride. I'll link it in my um storefront but it's called gothic bride disposable face towel and it comes with how many towels are in here 80 pieces for 11.69 so a little bit more than a month it lasts but the reason i like these is because of the thickness of them i feel like a lot of times face towels can be kind of thin this one's really really thick um, it also says on here that you can use one towel two to three times I wouldn't do that but um, you know save the earth I guess quality of them is really nice and they're cheaper as well than the clean skin club the clean skin club like I said was $17.95 for 50 this is $11.69 for 80 um, actually it's $12.99 for a one-time purchase $11.69 if you subscribe and save which I think I'm gonna do actually it says only five left in stock hey I've ordered everything I needed off Amazon and a little bit more now I'm just packaging up a vintage order it's a pair of these Gymshark slides that I got brand new so if you're not shopping my vintage what are you doing because most of the stuff on there is literally new stuff brand new tags on it or if it's worn it's been worn once for an Instagram photo and never worn again so you can literally just go be getting you know new items for discount prices they ordered these Gymshark slides for $13.50 I think is what they got them for and they retail for $28 the math y'all the math isn't mathing for me but it's mathing for you do you know what i mean make sure y'all are shopping my vintage look at the cute little packaging i have it's pink we're at the store i totally forgot my camera because i didn't know we were coming to the store until last minute i'm gonna go get some cake because me and adam ate all the chocolate cake that i made sainsbury's used to sell like these blueberry muffin packets that came in like a pack like this but they don't sell them anymore which is so depressing but i think i'm gonna get oh 
Ooh, actually, you know what? I'm going to Morrison's later tonight, and I think they still sell the um, blueberry muffin stuff. If not, I'm just gonna get the cake mix from there, I think. But usually, I get the Devil's Food cake mix, and then I get the tempting chocolate icing on top. It's delicious. Look who it is. <laughs> he walked into the camera. I didn't push it in his face like I usually do. Um, I'll show them my jacket. Adam gave me his jacket because I was cold. <laughs> yeah, turn to the side. Huh? To the side. Oh, because I match your pants. Thanks, babe. You got everything you need. Can we go now? Yeah. Look at his trim, y'all. Looking good. Looking, looking sexy, schmexy. Bread. I like the cut jeans. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um. Where has the time gone? Because, bruh, I have so much stuff to do today. And not enough time. It's now 3.30. I was going to film my makeup tutorial today but I literally need to leave within the next hour and a half ish to take our laundry to go get it dry because basically what we've been doing I don't know if y'all have noticed from last few vlogs but I've been washing our clothes in our house and then I just take it to the laundromat to dry it since we don't have like a dryer in our house because most UK homes don't have dryers in the houses um, so usually you'd have to dry it like on the radiator or outside. That's just not my style. I think it's a little tacky when I see people like drying their clothes outside over the fence and stuff. I don't know. I'm from California. So y'all know if you're from California, you know, that's tacky. So I just obviously it's more normalized here in the UK, but I just can't find myself to do it. Um, so I'd rather just take my clothes to the dryer to laundry mat, I mean, and then dry them there. Plus it gets dried right away. I can bring it home literally put the clothes away same day so I like that um way better but yeah I'm gonna leave an hour and a half and then I also um have like some editing I need to do so I realized like hmm, I'm not gonna have enough time to film my makeup tutorial because what I wanted to do was not only film my makeup tutorial but my fashion over package came in yesterday and so my plan was today to film my makeup tutorial which would be content and then also film my fashion nova try on haul for the month but by the time i'm done with my makeup i'll have to leave to go do the laundry because they close at a certain time and then by the time i'm back from doing the laundry it'll be dark outside so or like the sun will be setting so it won't be good lighting for me to film the fashion of a haul i'm having lunch now i'm just having charcuterie which is my favorite i'm having salami chorizo gouda and the crackers Ritz crackers, of course, the best crackers to have charcuterie with. If you know, you know. But yeah, I'm just gonna eat this and edit while I watch The Mole. I'm still watching it, it's so good. It's so freaking good. I'm over here watching The Mole on Netflix just to find out that the real mole lives in my house. Lives in my house. Adam went to go get a massage and I only had one more load of laundry to wash before I needed the car to go to the laundromat to dry it and so it's done now and where's my man <laughs> who knows because apparently the massage masseuse massage location whatever the place that we usually go to which is not too far from our house was closed so he decided to go to a different one but there's no other one near our house like the nearest one from our house after that is like 25 30 minutes away so i'm thinking this man really just drove there is gonna be there for like an hour getting a massage and i have to drive back that's like two hours by the time he gets back y'all the laundromat's gonna be closed so now i have all these wet clothes with nowhere to dry them because i could put them on our radiators right but whenever i put them on the radiators i only do one load i did four loads I have four loads of wet clothes that need to be dried and we don't have a dryer. 
and I know someone's gonna say just put it outside I can't I literally I can't the bugs the dirt no plus it's not even that sunny outside like I know it looks bright on me but it's not that it's windy and it's cold outside so that wouldn't look there goes the sun that wouldn't help so now we're either gonna have to drive far like probably into Leeds to find a laundromat that's open late at night or do it all again tomorrow I don't know but I'm like seriously man he knew I had to go to the laundromat he took the car to go get this massage and it's taking way longer than he was supposed to take so now I'm screwed on top of that had I known he was gonna take the car and be gone for two hours I would have done my makeup tutorial and my fashion of a video mmm I just wanna you know what I mean? Just so, you know what I'm saying? Because why? Why? Why would you do that? What sense does that make? I feel like men, boys, guys, all the above, just the common sense, it just don't be there. You know what I mean? It don't be here, where it needs to be, like right here, that frontal lobe, it don't be developing. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do. Y'all heard that little ding as I was ending the clip, right? Not this man just texting me. Where's my phone? His name just popped up on my laptop. So, who did he say? On my way back now. <sighs> Whatever. I guess we'll just see him when we see him. By the way, y'all see, oh. Sir. Hello. Where are you? Uh, 10, 15 away. Yeah, you realize I'm not gonna have time to dry the clothes, right? To dry the clothes, I needed the car to go to the laundromat. It's closing soon. Uh, well, I, I didn't know. Sorry. You did know, because I was literally washing the clothes in the hallway. Yeah, I didn't know you wanted to go straight away today. No? Oh, I, you, you're right. Why would I want to go today? Why would I? I would just want to have four loads of wet clothes sitting in our hallway so I could do it tomorrow. I, what, what am I thinking? I didn't know they were wet. I just seen the clothes in it. I didn't know what am I? I what am I thinking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh, I just love having clothes just sit in the hallway for days where I'm not doing laundry. <laughs> Your math is not mathing, boy. Uh, I didn't do the math. I see that. <laughs> I see that. You know that little like paperwork when you do a quiz and it says show your work. Yeah, you showed nothing. You just circled A. You just circled A. That's all you did. Yeah. Mm mm mm. See you in a bit, man. Ciao. <laughs> um, anywho, what I was saying, by the way, y'all are moving like this because I'm holding it, my tripod with my foot. But I have these two frames above my bed. They're not straight because it literally just got like knocked over. I just need to fix it. But I have these two frames above my bed and they have no photos inside of them. And I have no idea what to put in them. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Actually, you know what? I might go to the library. And print out a photo of me and Adam for it. I think that would be cute. Obviously, it'd be printed on like paper, but I don't think you'd be able to tell inside. Actually, no, I can't. It's too, the paper will be too small for this frame. This frame is a 40 by 50 centimeter frame. <laughs> that was a dumb idea. But I need to print out some sort of photos of me and Adam or like our trips. Maybe I think there's this one photo I have of um a volkswagen in milan that i took and it looked beautiful i'd love to print that and put that in one of the frames and then maybe like a picture from another one of our trips like our vacations and put it in the other one i think that would look really cute but i don't know they've been empty for so long at this point i'm like that's that's the art that's it if any of y'all have like an art business or a canvas business or anything like that and you want to send me some pieces to put there or put around my house anywhere because honestly our walls are bare of art we just don't I am good at like decorating the house when it comes to like furniture furnishing furnishing the house not decorating but when it comes to like artwork I don't know something about me I just never go to the store and I'm like oh I need artwork for my house even though the house needs artwork do you get what I'm saying so if you own any kind of decor business or anything like that and you want to send me something let me know holler at me in my dms because yeah, we need we need art. I made it to the lawn. It's called a laundrette out here. A laundrette, not a laundromat. I made it to the laundromat and it was busy. Y'all busy. It was so busy that well, this is like a smaller laundromat. I've never been here before. The one we usually go to has so many like washers and dryers. Like it's never 
full like there's always available ones but this one I got here and the entire thing full washers full dryers full luckily I only need the dryers so I just waited for someone to finish drying their stuff but y'all the person like their laundry finished but they weren't in there to like remove their clothes and above all the dryers it has signs that says like it does get busy here so if your laundry is not finished and there's people in line they are allowed to remove your clothes from the dryer so yeah it, I'm guessing it's always busy here there's a lot of signs like everywhere with like different rules so I was like ee! so anyways the person like two of the dryers finished and the person didn't come for them and I waited 10 minutes so 10 minutes I waited 10 minutes and they didn't come so I was like I'm gonna have to be the one to remove their clothes because I need to dry my clothes and there's other people like that needed to use the dryers as well like I was first in line but there was other people so if I didn't dry my clothes like by the time they were ready to dry their clothes like it, it was gonna be a whole situation do you know what I'm saying I was like eee, I don't want to remove their stuff but I'm gonna have to so I gave it 10 minutes they didn't come so I had to put their stuff on like the table. There's like a table in there. So I put their stuff on the table and then I literally loaded my entire laundry into the two. I had to make multiple trips to my car to get like my baskets out the trunk and stuff. And so I made three trips total, put all my laundry into the things, the machines, the dryers, got money from the coin machine, started my laundry. My laundry went for another 10 minutes and within that time, the person still didn't come until after my stuff had already been going for like 10 minutes and then they finally came and I was like oh I put your stuff on the table luckily they were like oh it's fine like that's you know but it was just so awkward like I feel like that's so awkward so I don't think I'll be coming to this laundry mat very often unless it's like I really need to dry clothes I think I'll be going to the one we usually go to because I just don't like being put into that like that type of situation you know what I mean like so awkward but yeah now I'm just outside waiting for my clothes to finish drying I have a timer so I'm not one of those people that's like I can't stand when people leave their stuff in there and then I'm leaving my stuff in there I set a timer on my phone I'm sitting right outside so I can see like inside the building but I set a timer so I can go inside and get it unfortunately though because I'm literally sitting outside here watching my clothes because it is kind of like in the ghetto you know what I mean um I'm not gonna have time to go to the gym like I, I mean I'm gonna go to the gym but I'll have to go to the gym once my clothes are done I'm not gonna have time to go to the gym um, while like my plan was to go to the gym while my clothes were going because they're gonna go for like an hour and that was a perfect amount of time for me to go to the gym at the same time but since I'm having to sit out here and play fucking FBI agent on my clothes CIA agent like <laughs> I can't go to the gym so that sucks but it's whatever we move Adam's on the phone right now he's watching the mole I've turned him down let me turn him up and I do not see Dom in our midst which means that you guys still are stuck in the four digits okay. wild huh yeah mom what'd you say you know they got it yeah. oh he's not the part that I'm at okay um I also walked to the store I got myself some Nutella biscuits because I was getting hungry. I should have got a drink because I'm really thirsty. I wanted a water when I left the house and I totally forgot. But these are good. These are so good. My laundry is done. We are at the post office. Post office. We're at the post boxes. Let me see. Oh, there are currently no compartments available. <laughs> Ain't that great? No compartments available, so I'm gonna have to send this off tomorrow. All right, that package is gonna get, have to get sent off tomorrow. And now I'm gonna go home because, yeah, the clothes are in the back. I just need to put them away. Once the clothes are put away, I'm going to work out at home instead of going to the gym because I'm gonna do an ab day. Oh, this is broken. <laughs> Living with a man. Ay, ay, ay. No more hangers. Oh, yeah, they're here. Wow.
My outfit today, my top is from Glow Mode and my leggings are from Gymshark. I got dinner tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Of course. You're welcome. Your muscles. Uh, that's good for me. Thank you. And I know you like potato look. Oh, extra potatoes. He knows the way to my heart and my foot. I'm all showered. I didn't wash my hair because I'm going to wash it tomorrow. But I feel nice and clean. I still need to do my skincare, but I'm going to do that after I eat because I notice that when I do my skincare, I can taste it in my mouth. Like it gets on my lips and then, Ugh. yeah, you know when you taste your skincare, it's just, eh, just nasty. So I'm going to wait to do that before bed. But we're about to watch Love Island. Um, we're at the part, in case you're wondering, we're at the part where they're in Casa Amor. So they're about to play like the kissing game. They have to like kiss, kiss each other based on like whatever they tell them. I guess I don't know. What's wrong? What's something? What's unplugged. Hey! It was me. Let's make sure the remote worked. Good morning. It is Wednesday and we are halfway through our week. Seems like it's going by so fast, but I feel like maybe that's because I've just been busy the last few days, like keeping busy doing things every day. So yeah, I'm really proud of myself. Right now we are at the gym and I'm about to go work out my legs. We're doing a leg day. Really excited. Just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm not excited at all whatsoever. I love the gym, but I also hate it. It's like a love-hate relationship I got going on here. Um, I hate going in, but I love the feeling I get when I come out. So that's kind of what keeps me motivated. But yeah, I'm about to go in and do cardio first and then a leg workout. I got my book with me. I've been reading The Housemaid. I'm back to reading this. This is like my gym book. So in case y'all are wondering why it takes me so long to read this... <laughs> I only read this book when I'm at the gym. I have another book that I read like every day, like at night and stuff, but this is the book that I read at the gym only. So I'm actually pretty far, to be honest. Like, actually, I'm not even gonna. No, I'm not that far. <laughs> I'm like on chapter eight, I think. Today, I have a lot planned. I have to go to Manchester later today to do my second session of body sculpting. I did my first session last week, which y'all didn't see because I wasn't vlogging, but I will vlog today. So we're actually going to be doing it at Demi's studio. So I'm excited because I get to see Demi. Demi's also getting body sculpting done as well. So that will be exciting and fun to see both of the girls because the girl who does the body sculpting her name's Aisha she's so nice like me and her vibed really well when we met so yeah I'm excited to see them both it's it's gonna be a fun day so yeah we're doing that um I also got some content I need to get filmed today that I didn't get done yesterday as y'all know so hopefully fingers crossed we can get that done but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling let's go ahead and get in this gym because I know I'm procrastinating right now <laughs> let's get in this gym and just get it over with Look at her. 
look at him, look at him. That ain't my, that ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with him. Catch me in the whip, ride with him. Sipping something, bumping beer, hypnotized with him. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a free get a friend too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh. And Romy are on our hot girl walk. Came by the river to do a walk. How peaceful is that? Look at that. The view is amazing. There's like a bunch of people that run and walk, ride bikes as well. It's just so peaceful. I'm not gonna walk too far because I got shit to do today. But she said I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga girl. I like it last nigga. All I need is mental. You know I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always just another interlude. Asking all the questions, girl. You know I don't do interviews. It's pitiful that when I'm with your mother bitches, I pretend it's you. Oh, you work at clothes, you in dental school. Wife and I, you fucking clothes, cooking dental too. Young killer, girl, I'm known as Pink Griffey too. It's only right. I am showered and. About to do my skincare routine but i'm checking in with y'all again to show you the progress okay so we're on day three and this is how my skin is looking like i feel like it's looking better but i am having a few breakouts here and there i don't know if it's like a reaction to me changing my skincare routine or what but we're gonna keep going because i do feel like my face is getting brighter like the, my colors coming back I'm shining do you get what I'm saying like I'm glowing there you go so yeah we're going in with the cream sorry the foam to start off okay step one is done now we're moving on to step two the brightening concentrate next is the cream I will say this product, this one doesn't smell as nice as the others. Like this one kind of smells like booty. <laughs> yeah, no, doesn't smell nice. The other ones smell really good. This one smells like what happened here. You know what I mean? Okay, and then lastly, my favorite part, the sunscreen. This sunscreen, bruh, the smell of this, this smells better than all of the products combined. Like this one. This sunscreen smells so good. It has like a little bit of a fruity smell to it. Yeah, I'm just gonna dry my face so I can put moisturizer on, on top of all of this because it does dry your skin out. Now I'm just gonna add in some moisturizer. They do recommend using the CeraVe one, but I haven't gone to pick it up. <laughs> I should have. So I'm just gonna keep using my Laneige Cream Skin. This is my skin day three. Hopefully I like when I'm editing this, I can tell that it's like improving. Do you know what I mean? Like I hope it's improving. I'm gonna go film now. I'm doing my makeup tutorial. So we'll film that and then I'll come back to y'all. Hopefully it turns out good because when you walk down my life. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I hope it comes out good because I've already like my um, elevation air video I filmed that twice and it did not come out good the second time like my eye was freaking red and so now I have to film it for a third time and I'm like I do not want to keep filming videos over and over because it feels like rehearsed do you know what I mean like it feels like I'm saying the same thing over and over again and it's like it doesn't seem natural it doesn't seem quality you know what I mean so hopefully this goes well I don't know if I should like do my hair or just like leave it like this, do my makeup, and then at the end I do my hair. Mm, I feel like I should just do my hair, right? That way once the makeup's done, it, the look is there. Hey you! Yeah, I just finished filming this makeup tutorial and I'm so happy with how it came out. I can't wait to edit it. But yeah, now I'm gonna film my Fashion Nova video. Yeah, your girl's working. I'm gonna film my Fashion Nova try on a haul video. And then by the time I'm done with that, Adam should be home and it should be time for us to head over to Manchester. 
joke is on me once again i thought i'd have enough time to film my fashion nova video and then i looked at the time and realized i only have about 25 minutes before i have to leave to get to manchester to make it to my appointment on time so that's gonna have to either be filmed later tonight and i'll have to be like a nighttime type of haul or i'll have to film it tomorrow but i need to go eat something before it's too late because you have to eat like two hours before your appointment so yeah i need to go eat something like right now having leftovers for lunch and i'm not complaining this smells so good y'all i wish y'all could like taste this through the camera and understand how good it tastes because 10 out of 10 12 out of 10. i'm on my way to manchester adam is not here because his practice was running real late and if i had waited around for him i would have been late so i was like mm, yeah let's not do that so i left him the key to the house and I had like heated food up for him. I just left in the microwave for him. So now he's gonna have to reheat it. I was trying to be all cute and stuff, like heating up him up some food, but yeah, his practice was running late. I drove over there and I waited for like 30 minutes and they hadn't even came in yet. So then I called um, the girl who's doing the body sculpting and I was like, yeah, can we reschedule like a little bit later and she was like oh perfect i was gonna um push it back a little bit as well so it worked out but then yeah i waited around for adam to see if he could make it to the new time like make it like we done with practice in order to get in the car and we can make it to manchester together to be there for the new time but yeah no he still was practicing so i was like i gotta go gotta blast and yeah i left him <laughs> so i'm heading to manchester by myself it's okay though because um i'm gonna see demi while i'm out here so it'll be a vibe made it to demi's say hi demi hi say hi Aisha. hey <laughs> we're about to do the body sculpting oh my gosh the lighting in here okay you okay relax <laughs> relax girl <laughs> No, I feel like I've been on my feet all day. Like, everyone's getting on my nerves. <laughs> Not everybody's getting on your nerves. Every, I mean, everybody. I mean, like, the taxi driver cancelled on me because oh, no. I expected him to put my suitcase in the boot for me. And he's like, no. Yeah, I did. And then he drove off. Him. I said, thank you. And then he was like, no, no, gal, gal, you're being rude. You being rude. And I was like, what? And he was like, I'm not putting your suitcase in. I was like, sorry, I thought as a male, you would put it in and help me. Okay, wait, tell them what you got. Okay. Absolutely <laughs> exciting. Race trainers. I think I brought you small and medium. Okay. see which one we'll rather yeah. go with the medium first. Love it. I love the packaging. Thank you. Where is my waist, y'all? Look, this, this one has a know. zipper. Oh, yeah. Thank so you. freaking cute. Where? The new guy, Hugo? Yeah, is it Hugo? Yeah. Or, no, 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 sorry, Jake. Jake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good morning, beautiful faces. Today is Thursday and we don't have a lot going on today i know i wanted to film my content but i didn't realize that yesterday was wednesday and wednesday is usually my day throughout the middle of the week that i have off to like edit and make sure that i'm caught up on work so that my vlogs go out at a certain time and then also to just relax and reset so i didn't get that yesterday so i'm gonna use today as like my editing day and reset day which is gonna be boring to vlog but there are a few things that I do want to share with y'all before I go incognito <laughs> so the first thing I'm about to do right now I'm already up washed my face got dressed hair done all that we'll check in with my skin today I feel like it had like a little bit of a breakout like it kind of flared up a little bit but I'm still feeling like my skin is looking very like bright like the center of my face I don't know maybe I'm delusional <laughs> but I did all my skincare um, routine now before I even have breakfast I haven't had breakfast y'all before I even have breakfast I'm about to fix my mirror I bought this mirror from where did we buy this from I feel like we were at like T 
TK Maxx or something. No, B&M. Wait, no. I didn't get it from B&M. Where did I get this mirror from? Maybe it was B&M. I don't know. Oh, there's still more glue on the side. Either way, I bought this mirror. Y'all would remember because I bought it last year. So I would have vlogged it. So if anyone remembers, then shout out to you. Because I can't even remember. But I bought it last year. And it was like really discounted on sale because of these like marks on it that literally don't go away. But to be honest, I only use this mirror to do my makeup. And it doesn't bother me. Like I don't even notice it when I do my makeup. So don't care. But it came on the stand. And it broke off when the blinds fell yeah and then i glued it back together i hot glued it back together as you can see but i think i didn't give it enough time to dry so then i went to like mess with it and it fell off again and i haven't glued it back since but i'm like you know what it's about time it's literally been unglued for about two three months like a while y'all today i'm like okay i'm gonna use today to also clean up my office so i might as well hot glue my mirror back and fix it but yeah now i've got to peel off all this hot glue and i also bought a what is that called like a seasoning stand there's a word for that y'all know what i'm trying to say like where you organize your seasonings on like a little stand little shelf seasoning shelf i don't know um i'm gonna show you how i used it though because i think it was kind of clever if i say so myself while my hot glue gun heats up i'm gonna unpackage my packages that I got they're just from Amazon I just ordered a few things I told y'all I ordered them um like two days ago I should have brought my box cutter down here I'm gonna break a nail oh my gosh okay hold on <sighs> okay first package is my face wipes should I move y'all over here <laughs> these are the face wipes that I use that I was telling y'all about I get them off Amazon. I'll link them in my storefront down below. Um, but these are amazing. The only thing is they do come in like an entire roll. Like a tissue roll kind of thing. Let me show you. So they come like this in a whole roll. And then they have like rip lines on them. So you, they're easy to like rip apart. But I rip them apart and then I put them in my like... Or I'll show y'all. I'm trying to explain it. I might as well just show you. And then the only other thing I got in my package was um, these webcam covers because mine fell off. And yeah, like I told y'all, I don't play about my camera. It needs to be covered. So I got, this is like a pack of four, I think, or six. I'm going to put one on my computer, Adam's computer, his iPad, my iPad, and Cruz iPad. <laughs> Your girl's not playing around. I'm not. We even have like an Alexa with the... Um, it has the camera on it and I always have it shut. I always have it shut. I don't trust nobody. <laughs> I might sound a little paranoid, but I don't care. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Oh my gosh. I just did that so quick because I'm like, it's gonna dry. I think we'll just leave it there to dry. Okay, that's done okay next these little camera covers let's go all right i just did adam's laptop it was actually harder than i thought it would be but it's done second device done third device done adam's ipad is impossible to do because of his case like the camera's there or i guess i don't know if it's the case or just the way this ipad's built but yeah you can't cover this camera so that's unfortunate and lastly, Cruz iPad is done, but to be honest, he needs a new iPad because he done dropped this thing out and broke the screen. <laughs> but it's so old, it's not even worth fixing. So, yeah, but that is the last camera. Oh, can I close it? This case is in the way as well. There we go. Last camera done. I finally remembered the word. This is called a seasoning rack. So, this is the seasoning rack that I got. I got it from b and it was only five pounds. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this. So we'll put it here. Ta-da! So if you needed a way to organize your perfumes, just go get yourself a seasoning rack. It's going to be so much cheaper than buying an actual perfume stand. And it literally gives the same look. But yeah, I needed a new stand for my perfumes because this is the one I used to use. 
um, but I've given it to Adam because he added all his colognes to my perfumes and it was taking over all the space. All the perfumes were all like cramped and stuff. It just wasn't looking good. So I said, you know what? That one's black. It's more manly. He can have that one for his and then I'll use this one for mine. And mind y'all, this isn't even all his colognes. He has like four other ones that are in his um, wash bag. But yeah, when they're all there, it's it looks cramped. So I was like, yeah, have that. This is mine. It's cute. It's clear. I love the way it looks. Like, and it has so much space. And again, it was only five pounds. So if I have, like, more perfumes in the future, I can just buy another little rack, you know? Now I'm going to refill this. This is what I was trying to say. I put my face towels in this. So just take this out. And then literally these just rip off and then oops I didn't even open this by the way I got this like acrylic tissue holder off Amazon so I'll also link this down below if you're interested and once I'm done it looks like this and then I don't leave it here it actually goes in my drawer and that way it's just at easy access Hey y'all, it's Friday with Adam. Just finished training. Can you tell I'm just wobbling? <laughs> Why are you wobbling me? <laughs> we're at the store. I gotta do a return and we're gonna go get some groceries. She just walked on there. Someone's being sassy today. Someone's being sassy. Are we? Now you're annoying me. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're in Sainsbury's. We're gonna have some. Oh, I should have had some salmon. I haven't had salmon in a minute. Rice. Salmon, rice, put me on the side. Yeah, I'll do the sauce. Yeah, I'll do the white sauce. You don't want white sauce? I've done like every day. <laughs> For like weeks. Are you saying I don't make nothing else? No. You don't make nothing else. That's the only sauce you make. Like, you make the same sauce. You don't like no tomato sauce? No, you I don't. don't. like any of the sauce? I don't. Oh, I only white like. White sauce. Yeah, white sauce. Yeah, embarrassing. Mm-mm. <laughs> so, like, Plus what? What salmon. do you want to do? Salmon or cod? Um, salmon. My favorite charcuterie is the mozzarella. <gasps> Are they sold out? No way. So I usually get salami, mozzarella, and chorizo. And it comes in like a little pack, like these little three packs, but it should be here. Okay, I'm just gonna get the chorizo slices and gouda cheese. Now for the cheese, I need gouda, gouda cheese, unless I can find it sliced. Is there not sliced gouda? Sliced gouda? Like where it's sliced up. Yeah, I don't see it. By the way, this looks delicious. Nacho cheese bake. Ah, there. Found it. Eee! Gouda. Got it. We're back home, and now I can properly talk to y'all because I felt like. <laughs> being in the store was a little rushed when I was speaking when I was speaking but we're home Adam is done with practice for the day he had a double session so he was there a little bit longer but he's home now I have literally done nothing today but a little bit of editing and then sleep I was so tired I would sleep at 5 a.m because I was just up all night couldn't sleep and it's because I had an energy drink yesterday which was such a bad idea but 
Um, I didn't go to sleep till five. So when I woke up to take Adam to work, I was so tired. So when I came home, I tried to stay awake, but I just couldn't do it. So I ended up taking like two naps. So yeah, now we're up though. We're up, we're ready. Um, I think I'm gonna take Romy to the park and go for a little bit of like a walk there for a little bit. And well, first I'm gonna eat because I haven't had anything besides cereal this morning for breakfast. So I'm having a little snack. It's this nacho cheese bake from Sainsbury's. I don't know if y'all heard me, but when we were in the store, I seen it and I was like, that looks, that looks delicious. Let's try it. So my oven is making a lot of noise because it's turning on. But I just need to wait for it to heat up and then I can put this inside. I can't get this film off. How cool is it that this comes in like this little dish? Like this is like a glass dish. So once you're done eating it, you can obviously just clean out the dish and keep it for next time that you wanna, next time you wanna make a cheese dip, that's, what is it, earth friendly? I like that. Adam also got me a smoothie. I love this smoothie from uh, Sainsbury's. It's by Sainsbury's. It's a pineapple, banana, and coconut smoothie. I'm not a smoothie person at all. If you know, ooh. If you know me, you know I do not like smoothies because I don't like textured drinks. Like if you have orange juice with pulp, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Even lemonade with the pulp, can't do it. So smoothies is literally like put as much pulp in that as you can possibly do in a drink and then serve it to someone. Mm -mm. So I'm not a big smoothie fan at all. But this smoothie is so smooth that I don't really feel like any texture. To me, it's kind of like having a milkshake. Yeah, it's like having a milkshake and the flavor is amazing. It's so good. It's like banana and coconut-y with a hint of pineapple. I was gonna make Brazilian lemonade when I got home, but we didn't have any ice. So I just had to ask Adam to make some ice. But once we have enough ice, I'm gonna do that like a little bit later on today. The sun is out, so I'm like, I should probably go for this walk right now before it gets too cold to be outside. I just wish I would've gone a little bit like earlier if I had woken up a little bit earlier. But y'all, I was tired. I was like in pain when I was tired. It was that bad. So I don't know. I also need to go drop off a vintage order and drop off my Amazon returns. So I'm thinking maybe I'll eat this nacho dip, cheese dip thing, and then I'll take my returns and then me and Romy will go for a walk. I think that's how we'll do it. I think this is ready to eat, so I'm gonna try it. Let's see. It's got jalapenos in it, so I feel like it's gonna be a little bit spicy. Mm. Oh, this spicy. That is good. That? Oh, this is delicious. It's a few hours later. I've taken a shower, took my makeup off, and changed my outfit because um, I don't know if it was noticed in the first clip of today where I was in the grocery store and I had makeup all under my eye. I think it was the side because I had rubbed my eye in the car and forgot I had makeup on. But Adam, excuse me, but Adam didn't tell me like, oh, there's makeup under your eye after I did that. So I feel like I was vlogging and y'all just seen makeup under my eye. And then I did it again later on when I wasn't vlogging and I was like, you know what? Let me just go take this makeup off. And then at that point I was like, let me just take a shower because it's been really humid lately. And it's really sticky. So a shower, why not? But anyways, I'm now at the park to do my hour walk with Rome. It's getting pretty cold. So hopefully um, it doesn't start raining or anything and I can just get this walk done with but we're gonna do our hour walk and I'm laughing because um, I'm allergic to pollen I think I've mentioned this a few times to y'all but this park is literally just grass and trees everywhere like grass and trees everywhere and I'm literally sitting in the car and I'm already sneezing and I didn't take my pill <laughs> Are you ready to go for your walk man come on come on He's like, girl, if you don't come get me from back here, come on. You know how to get up here. You know how to get back there. He was up here in the front seat, and then he jumped back there when I went to get gas. Come on. Come on. There you go.
it is freezing out here <laughs> freezing so i don't think i'll be doing the full hour the trees are blowing it is freezing so i think i'll only end up doing like a few laps around this park and then going to sit in the car because not is too cold <laughs> i'm over here shivering i even got a jacket on and i'm shivering and to think i was just gonna wear like a t-shirt <laughs> this dog he don't know how to walk y'all he likes to run everywhere he likes to he sees people he wants to run towards them he sees kids he wants to run towards them he sees dogs he wants to run towards them mm, he sees bikes he wants to run towards them so walking him is impossible he stops so much as well he'll run he'll stop look there he goes <laughs> turn back around i'll keep walking and then like i'm pulling him like nah <laughs> he don't know how to be walked <laughs> at this point it seems pointless to be out here for an hour look at the duckies look at the duckies not there's a shopping cart inside the lake Should we go get the pigeons? Go, come on. Go, 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 go. <laughs> come on. Look at the big duck. at the post office um to do the returns i'm just getting my return qr codes ready now i'm gonna head home and put romy in his bed because i'm sure he's a little bit tired i need to get my vented package like i need to package it up and then go take that and then afterwards yeah give it away <laughs> end of the day i'm back home and i'm about to get ready for bed i haven't had dinner yet but i'm not hungry so <laughs> i'm gonna get ready for bed and then if i get hungry i'm just gonna go make myself some noodles or something but it's the time for me to announce the giveaway so i'm going to start doing 20 dollar amazon gift card giveaways in my videos from now on i'm not going to tell you which videos i'm doing the giveaway in because i want y'all to kind of watch the video and then just be surprised when you hear a 20 dollars giveaway they will be in my vlogs they will also be in like sit down videos and i'm going to do them pretty often so today is our first 20 dollars giveaway in order to enter in today's giveaway it's really easy all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed of course and then you need to leave a comment with your instagram at name and then you also need to be following me so that's three and that's why i'm gonna check because i'm gonna whoever the winner ends up being i'm gonna make sure that their instagram is commented and i can go check to make sure they're following me on instagram okay that's number three and number four you need to leave a separate comment except i'm trying something new here i just want to see if this ends up working but i want you to use a hashtag in the comments that you think relates to this video so you could put hashtag vlog you could put hashtag vented hashtag youtube hashtag girl whatever hashtag you think can somewhat relate to this video i want you to comment it make it something that i maybe spoke about in this vlog maybe something that i would be like okay yeah you watch the vlog do you get know what i'm saying that's all you have to do to enter the giveaway this giveaway will go on until my next weekly vlog is posted but I will announce who the winner is in that weekly vlog. So yeah, if you want to enter extra comments for an extra chance to win, you can also do that because those will count. So just make sure they're separate comments. So your Instagram name is one comment, 
um, the hashtag is another and then if you want to comment any other times that is also another entry into this giveaway but yeah thank you guys so much for watching that's it for tonight i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed i love you all so much and good luck to all of you that enter in the giveaway remember i will be doing these very often so stay tuned but yeah i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video love you guys bye